Hi guys, so we're going to do today's daily energy healing. Healing. My name is Lindsay. I do healings for twin flames and light workers. so be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So, um, I wanted to work with the unicorn cards today. So let's call upon God, stars, universe, angels, and guides, the highest beings of infinite love and infinite light to help with this session and allow this healing to go to you, your twin flame, your loved ones, the entire collective, and beyond. This is something better for the highest and the greatest good of all. Also, if you haven't checked out this week's healing download, this one's called Twin Flame Ancestral Healing. So we really go deep, 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 clearing stuff out from the ancestral line. We hold a lot of fear and a lot of um, blocks and, you know, old programming in the ancestral line. So we worked a lot on that, on Twin Flame Healing and all of that good stuff. So if you want to learn more about it, you want to get the download, uh, the link is below. And let's see what the message and the healing for today is. Is this the card? Yes. Okay. So, man, I swear we get this one a lot. It's a flow. I feel like we get this almost every week. Find an easier path forward. Surrender the outcome. Release your expectations. So, oh, this is nice. <laughs> so I'm just tuning into the message, especially the part where it says, uh, release your expectations and allow things to unfold in the way that it's meant to. So letting go of the control. <clears throat> so let's work on that. Let's let go of control. <laughs> I'm laughing because, you know, sometimes it's a lot easier said than done to allow ourselves to let go and allow, right? Allow things to unfold in a way uh, that is in the highest good. Sometimes we get in our own way, right? The universe is trying to uh, <laughs> create this a beautiful path, a beautiful journey for us, but we are so afraid to let go of the old stuff, let go of the things that we, we feel is safe and comfortable, even though it might not be serving us anymore. It could be an old pattern. It could be like addiction to something. It could be, um, you know, just not wanting to let go of certain beliefs or um, grudges towards someone, so allowing a forgiveness, right, even towards ourselves. So let's allow ourselves to take this moment to relax, go within, and let go of anything that is no longer serving us, that's not in our highest good, that's blocking us from really allowing the universe to flow through us, through our lives creating and opening all these beautiful doors to love and compassion and abundance and all the amazing opportunities that, you know, we are meant to receive if we just get out of the way. <laughs> Stop trying to make things go a certain way. <sighs> wow, like my shoulders feel like it's melting. So much relaxing coming through for everyone. Just relaxing. Letting go and sending love to the parts of us that love to control the situation or try to control. So, you know, our controlling parts, even the parts of us that are a little bit manipulative, like we all have a part of us that tries to manipulate sometimes, right? So it's okay. So just send love and light to the manipulative, manipulative parts of us, the shadow parts of us, the controlling part of us. Ah, it's okay, just saying love. They're just that part of us, right? Just wants to do what it thinks is best for us, right? So just sending love and awareness to these parts of us and just telling these parts of us, it's okay, it's okay, you're safe. And let's let go of the need to make things harder than it has to be. Let's let go of the struggle. Oh man, it feels good to let go. <laughs> Just letting go. Whatever is no longer serving you. Who feels so good. So just let it all go. Okay. So just tune in, see how you're feeling. If you're open to receiving this healing, I always forget to mention, if you're open to receiving this healing, you can type in the comments below. I'm open to, I'm open to going with the flow of the universe. I'm open to going with the flow of the universe. So you can type that below. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, question of the day is, 
um, what are things that you like to do that helps you to go with the flows, that helps you to connect to the universe, the universal flow, right? Just something, usually for me, it's something really creative, like dancing definitely helps you just get into the flow of things, or artwork, or journaling, just helping you connect to your spirit, and the more you connect to your spirit, you're connecting to God, to the universe, and that's how you allow yourself to be be uh, led by the universe or led by God, whatever you want to call it. So <clears throat> just taking a moment to uh, ask yourself those questions will really help, right? And if you don't have a way, maybe you can um, take a moment to meditate or journal about some ways you can allow yourself to be more in that flow state. It really makes a difference, again, when you take that time, right? So taking that time to connect to yourself every day and then taking some time to, like, move with this, move with, with the universe or move with the spirit within you. Um, it really helps so much to connect to um, these parts of you so that um, we don't get so caught up in our head sometimes and we overanalyze things or we try to, like, you know, overthink things and then... You know, or we try to, like like I said, we try to control things to go a certain way. But if we just take a moment to just step back and allow and see the bigger picture, it makes such a big difference. And we can see that, hey, it doesn't have to be um, such a struggle all the time. I think sometimes we make things a lot harder than it has to be. So just taking that moment to step back and get a bigger perspective, I find it helps a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just sending you so much love and light. Be sure to check out this he week's healing download if you haven't. Also, if you want to get a healing session, a personalized session, you can. All the information is below and we can help you out with anything you want to work on. So just, you know, maybe be more in your power, creating more love in your life or really loving yourself, right? Really connecting to the, the soul part of you, the part of you that you know, knows what you want, the part of you that knows you're worthy and deserving of love. When you can live from that place, that place that you know you're worthy of love, you're worthy of abundance, it just opens up so much opportunities and doors and magic in your life. It's just so powerful when you can really connect to the truth of who you are. And that is what I do in these um, sessions helping you to connect back to yourself and that also helps for the twin flame connection and union as well so we can also work on um, twin flame healing too in your session so yeah i'm just sending you so much love and so much light and i'll see you guys i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> bye